what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? After doing a five year stretch, rapper Young Miami of City Girls' mother was released from prison. And internet, well, at least her supporters are joyful. It's reported that young Miami threw her mother a huge welcome home party. So exactly why was her mother in prison in the first place? Well, since you asked, I'll tell you. Prosecutors say on August 3rd, 2009, young Miami's mother, Kenya Young, and her then boyfriend, Xavier Robinson, drove to a mall, stole Michael Kors and Juicy Couture purses from Macy's, and led the police on a dramatic chase afterwards. The chase ended with an innocent woman, a grandmother, being killed in a high-speed collision. Prosecutors said Xavier and Kenya were in the robbery together, parking their car in the fire lane for a quick getaway from Macy's. Prosecutors alleged that Xavier stole a Michael Kors bag while Kenya took two Juicy Couture purses. As they ran off, a security officer tussled with Kenya and Xavier hopped in the driver's seat and gunned it toward the two. As the couple fled with the stolen goods, the car plowed into 40-year-old security guard Emily Anderson, who was driving home from another exhausting shift to support her two grandchildren. Her co-worker, Charles Hall, was left critically injured and in a coma for a month. Young Miami's mother and her boyfriend were both charged with murder. Kenya took a deal to get her time knocked down. Xavier was eventually convicted of murder and is now serving a life sentence. Kenya only did five years because she ratted out her boyfriend. Young Miami, it's reported, threw a huge homecoming party for her mom. What do y'all think about that, fam? People doing time for killing members of the community and coming home to a party. I always felt some kind of way about that because I know in various communities, if you take out somebody that live in the community, you got to go. You cannot live there any longer. It's not safe for you, your children, your slow walking grandma or grandpa. They will harass, they will torture, every last one of your family members and anybody that supports you, you got to go. Now, you think, oh, is it because they love the members of their community more? I don't think so, because they also kill members of their community. I think it's how it's done. I think that when it's a situation where, you know, somebody was in the commission of a crime and killed somebody, you know what, even if a crime was not being committed, if you just, it was an accident, they'll run you all the way up out of the neighborhood. It happens all the time. The murder part happens all the time. They kill each other all the time, but you know, you're just not going to be able to stay in the same neighborhood. You got to move. It's, I guess that's like an unwritten code. If you kill a member of the community, you got to go. I know that where I'm from, you kill a member of the community, you come home, and it's a big welcome home party, you know? And it's not even private. I can understand if, you know, good look. No matter what you do, your family going to love you no matter what, right? So I get it. A private situation, it's a private party, just family, close friends, but not a big old barbecue in the park. 
I've seen that many times. I've seen people kill people in the community and they actually label the person who killed killer. They like, it's a term of endearment. They start calling him killer and they allow him to walk in the neighborhood, move around in the neighborhood unimpeded. Like nobody bothers him. In fact, there's a certain level of reverence for him. Hard to understand. Very hard to understand. But what do y'all think about that family? Y'all think, you know, party cool, you know? Public, private. They didn't say if it was a private party or not. But they did say it was a celebration. They made it seem like it was some major event, right? Again, I have no problem with somebody coming home and being celebrated. People, you know, your loved one's going to love you no matter what you do. You come home and everybody happy to see you. They put a little get together for you. I got it. But some of these public uh, celebrations be tripping me out, fam. Like, I cannot ever get used to somebody taking out a member of the community and being celebrated. I can't get over that. I, I would never get with that program. But what say you? Drop a comment. No more talk. What the talking about?